the most important option is admin. This option helps to set up the HR policy of the company for every employee, department or branches. First option is time off setup. Every company has its own policy, so you can set up your policies accordingly. Which includes number of maximum working days, permissible late arrival, permissible early departure and other parameters. You can add new time off setup by clicking here. First menu is general setup. In this menu, setup registration number is generated automatically whenever you add new policy. You can check or uncheck the auto absent and other absenteeism policies during weekends or holidays. From here you can add maximum working hours, maximum late arrival and departure. Also there are other options which may be useful or you can leave if not required. Lastly press the update the button to apply the policy. Next menu is time office policy. In duplicate check minute you can add a duration in which if an employee punches or her card several times, software will take first punch. You can also add permissible late arrival, permissible early departure and maximum working hours. Other options includes maximum hours of work to mark half day, present and short leave. Also you can mark overtime and other things. Next option is overtime policy. This is applicable for those firms where overtime policy is there, otherwise you can leave it blank. There are few formulas which you can choose for the overtime calculation. You can also define what time will be considered as overtime. Last option for this menu is in out applicable. This feature is applicable with separate in and out machine. Next option is corporate policy setup. If you want to make changes in the time office for any selected employee or any department or all employee, you can make changes. You can choose the office details by putting check mark on the required field. You can also select from the drop down options available in master created. From overtime and overstay policy you can fix the rate as well. RTC policy is actually round the policy, where you can allow any employee for round the clock punching. Next option is punch policy, where you can choose from the drop down options how many punches are required for employees or you can also set it for respective employees. You can also set late or early policy by clicking this option. Also, you can manage the short leave and half day policy by marking the duration of work in this option. Shift policy can be managed from this option. You can choose shift time from drop down options and select the shift timings and other parameters. Lastly you can also manage the weekly off policy from this option. According to company policy you can set the weekly off days like first Saturday or second Saturday. This is all for the corporate policy. Next option is mail setting. In this you can do the settings of email lid through which email will be sent to the employees for any kind of information related to policies. Another option is add new user. Clicking on this option you can add the user and also give them permission related to the time office policy. Here is a list of permissible options of time office like master transaction and admin and other options. Suppose we allow the user for master, then in master what other privileges can be given to the new user can be chosen from here. Suppose in company master he can only add and update. But in employee master he can add category update and delete. Likewise other options can be permitted. In same ways what other permissions can be given in other options like transaction, reports, admin. Next option is import export. From this option you can import the masters in Excel S or CSV format if the number of entries is more in number. Likewise you can also export the masters. Next option is run verification. From this option you can process these changes for selected employees or for all employees from selected date range. Last option is database backup. From here you can take the backup.